this is Kaipacha, and I am going to be Saturn today because Saturn is moving into Capricorn, <laughs> as you probably know if you're watching this. And Saturn is about business, it's about growing up, it's about getting your act together. And, you know, I have had numerous people wanting to learn more astrology. Okay, mentoring, some kind of a school. So guess what? <laughs> New Paradigm Astrology is coming out with our first e-course. We're going to be using Google Classrooms. We're going to be having PDF handouts where you can really study, 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 and really get into what? Uh, Saturn. <laughs> Getting stronger with Saturn in Capricorn. This will be our first presentation. Uh, it's with the Dream Team members. It's gonna go for eight weeks, uh, each one of us taking a week-long module and uh, you know, with videos, question and answers, all kinds of uh, information so that we can just like really get a grip on Saturn. It's really awesome. Uh, so this is like a double thing. This is a twofold invitation. One is to, there's a free webinar this Saturday, okay, the 23rd at 1 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, okay? And that's going to go into each one of it. Each one of the Dream Team members is going to explain, you know, their module, what they're talking about. I want to give you just a little taste of it now. Okay, first of all, I'm going to start out the first week of January. January 1st, I'm going to be uploading this video on Saturn as the Lord of Karma. <laughs> and how from your past lives, okay, what you did or what you did not do is reflected in the Saturn position within your chart. And I'm going to be just like talking all about, you know, what goes around, comes around, and... Yeah, where you need to do your extra little bits of amount of homework. <laughs> How it deals with obstacles, limitations, and delays. Yeah, and why that has, you know, what the underpinning of that is. Yeah, second week, week number two, Julia, yeah, the, from the CIA down under. She's going to be discussing and taking Saturn in its natal placement. Okay, and showing in the workplace, you know, where this shows, how you can really master yourself. She's going to be also going through the Saturn cycle. Every seven years, you know, if you're 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, you know, it goes on and on. Okay, you're dealing with a Saturn hard aspect, a challenging aspect. So she's going to take that through all, you know, through, through, you know, through the whole transit cycle of Saturn and show how that, you know, how you can move through that. Week number three, okay, Eugenia is going to be taking Saturn in Capricorn through each one of the houses. So depending upon what time of, uh, you know, day you were born and what your natal chart is, this Saturn in Capricorn is not just Saturn. Saturn's in Capricorn for everybody. But if you want to get personal, okay, it's going through your second house. It might be going through your neighbor's sixth house. It might be going through your, you know, spouse's or partner's 11th house. So the house position really brings it home and shows the field of, you know, human experience that is really getting restructured, getting put together, yeah? So, you know, Eugenia is going to be talking about that. And then on week four, Sol is going to be taking, you know, Saturn as laying the foundation for grace to enter, yeah? And how to develop authority. Ultimately, Saturn is where we can become our greatest authority with dignity, commanding respect, okay, having it together and really be an icon and a, an example, a model, okay, for future generations. So, you know, Sol is going to give us some hints and some tips on how to do that, yeah. And then that's going to be easily followed up with Christina, who's going to be taking Saturn, you know, through the second Saturn return, happens around 57, 58. She's also going to be talking about Chiron, the Chiron return around 51 as kind of like preparing you, okay, for this whole shift 
into elderhood, into becoming the crone or the wise one and, and the master, and how to like really proceed, how to, how to get that, how to deal, <laughs> you know, how to deal with that, get the most out of it. And then following that, Tim, okay, Tim, week, you know, week seven, Tim is going to go into the Saturn's nodes, okay? Each of the planets, not just the moon has nodes, but Saturn has nodes. And he's going to be talking about how Saturn is really having to do with conditioning and deconditioning, like liberating from societal, religious, cultural, family conditioning that we've had, yeah? So this how Saturn can, you know, really be... Okay, and our ally, okay, in really stepping out of the conditions into our true power. Yeah? And then, I think I got the weeks wrong. <laughs> what can I say, man? Because week seven is actually, okay, Georgia. Yeah, Georgia is going to be coming, you know, full on with, again, beautifully following on the heels of Tim, you know, with this deconditioning. And she's going to be talking about taking the masks off okay so in how you know we take these masks off and we liberate ourselves from shame on both a personal level and on a societal level on our institutions and how this time period of Saturn and Capricorn for each one of us personally and society is going to be like being real getting over, you know, hiding what we are ashamed of. She's also, of course, going to be talking about Black Moon Lilith. <laughs> Black Moon Lilith has a lot to do with shame, yeah? And Saturn and Capricorn has to do with this mask. So, you know, uh, George is going to go fully into that. And wrapping it up is Ari, okay? Ari, week eight, he's going to really just be looking at the whole 2018 to 2020. Okay, Saturn and Capricorn for a couple of years. It's going to be coming up and hitting Pluto. And he's going to be talking about how this is like the end. Saturn balsamic, you know, approaching its final phase to the Saturn-Pluto cycle. Okay, and how that really is a time of changing paradigms. It's the end of an old paradigm and the birth of a new paradigm. So he's going to be talking about the future. Okay, and he's going to be talking about, you know, like what's coming up, how to take the most advantage of it, how to like really, you know, put yourself, you know, in a position of mastery, you know, in preparation for what? Yeah, well, the new paradigm. Yeah, ultimately what? Jupiter, Saturn, and Pluto, they're all going to move into Aquarius. <laughs> so, you know, we're kind of closing up this old Capricorn phase. You know, the patriarchy came in, okay, 6,500 years ago when the nodes of Saturn were last in Cancer Capricorn. They've returned to Cancer Capricorn now. That's why we have this end of the patriarchy. And as these planets move into Aquarius, I really see 2023, 2024 as the birth of the age of Aquarius when it's really going to start. So let's clean out the old in preparation for the new. I hope to see you on uh, Saturday for the free webinar, okay, where you'll hear everybody. It's a 90-minute presentation. We're all going to go into a little bit. And you can just like skip that and you can go right to the store. Hit the link in the notes below, go right to the store, sign up for the course. Yeah, that starts in January, it goes all through January and February. It's like a couple month intensive, okay, on Saturn. For those of you who really want to get the most out of astrology, out of your charts, out of your life, I look forward to seeing you there. Namaste. Aloha. So much Saturn. <laughs>